Hi, welcome to the Grammar Rules course. In this course, we'll cover a lot of general grammar rules you'll need for writing. This is an intermediate level course. We'll be focusing on a lot of rules that everyone should know, both students and adult writers. So let's just jump right in. The first topic we're going to cover is the verb tenses. The tense of the verb is the form of the verb that appears in the sentence which tells you when that action has taken place or whether it's going to take place in the future. It tells you the time of that action or that event. So in the table that we're looking at, we see uh, nine different forms. And so we want to study it in this structure and it will help us to organize them um, in a logical fashion. What we have are the simple tenses. The simple tenses are the basic forms of the present, the past, and the future. And these are the basic forms that we're all familiar with. The other six depend on these three forms, and there are different variations of that, so it would help to remember the set in this format. The other two categories are the progressive tense and the perfect tense. Progressive is simple also. Present progressive means that it is an action that is going on at this point in time. So we say that something is happening or somebody is doing something and that will be right now. Past progressive is when we say, oh, somebody was doing something or they were doing something. So this event was going on at that point uh, sometime in the past. Then we have the future progressive, and that would be something will be happening in the future. So it'll be an ongoing action in the future. Then we have the perfect tenses, and these are also present perfect, past perfect, and future perfect. But these are the categories where we get into most problem. And so we'll look at them more in detail in the future videos. Uh, what you want to remember is that the has and the have, when you say has done or have done, goes with the present perfect. And the had only goes with the past perfect. Knowing that distinction is very important for making your writing sound very clear. The future perfect is something that we don't use very often, but there are times when we will have to use it, and it is the form of will have done. Something, I will have done something by some point in the future. This is the tense diagram that I like to use when thinking about tenses. Um, I have it memorized so that whenever I'm thinking about something, I can visualize this series of points in time and I can locate different actions in different positions. And so what we have here are A, B, C, D, and E, five important points. The first, uh, we want, where are we? The present tense. This is where we are. We're at C. So things in the present are here. Of course, before the present is your past tense. That's point B. And then in the future, that will be point D over here or over here. Okay. So what is A? A is what we call the past perfect. And this is the time when we say that something, event A happened before event B happened, but they both happened in the past. Okay. So here we are. We're talking about lots of events in the past. But we still want to organize them in order of time, so we want to say that A is number one and B is number two. There are a lot of times when we have to do this, otherwise it wouldn't be clear what we're talking about or who did what first and what was the cause and what was the effect. So in order to make that clear to the re reader or the listener, we use the past perfect tense, had done. And then we have the uh, present perfect tense. Erase some of this. The present perfect tense floats up in the air um, in a bar in point E over here because E, the present perfect, doesn't have a definite time point associated with it. It is sometime before the present, but it could have been many times in the past, or it could be a uh, an action that goes all the way to the present or it could be going on so it goes past the present or it could be some event that happened here but it somehow influences the present 
So those are the different property of the present perfect. So in future videos, we will look at all these different tenses in more detail.